I think a redefinition of the word marriage is not found within the powers designated to the federal government. In Alabama, the state's chief justice lashed out at a new ruling ordering that his Ten Commandments monument be removed from the state justice building. Facing cheering supporters, Chief Justice Moore said the courts are violating his right to acknowledge God. In the very courtroom where he used to preside, Chief Justice Moore was stripped of his job and harshly criticized for defying a federal court. ago with this prophetic message as my holy angel dictated it to her while standing beside her bed she wrote this prophetic message down where I share a secret yet untold until now my angel told her now is not the time to release this message it was for an appointed time and now is that time to reveal what was concealed I tell my secrets to my apostles and prophets and all who listen I am Yahweh, Ancient of Days. My demand for holiness has not changed. I, Yahweh, have been patient, but I cannot be patient much longer, or I will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. O oh, evil and perverse end-time generation, you cannot consecrate and ask my blessings on the seed of Satan, or on a bishop ordained from hell which I will vomit out of my mouth. Church of the Episcopalians, I warn you now, to those who have condoned this evil, those who did not protest fight against abortion and now homosexuality you have made your bed with Jezebel and if you do not flee this church of Babylon you shall make your bed in hell in the lake of fire my word cannot lie the holy have become more holy and the evil have become more evil where are my holy ones to protest against the sinful abominations which is taking place not only outside of that which is like unto Sodom and Gomorrah but now the same sinful abomination inside the buildings with the people that claim they are holy by allowing the sinful perverted lifestyles and other sinful abominations not rebuking nor warning those who partake in these abominations you have welcomed and invited in the spirits like unto Sodom and Gomorrah and to your churches and temples all those who have done this I vow you do not know me you who have denied, removed my Ten Commandments, also called the Torah. You stood by and watched without protest as the tablet of stone was removed in Alabama. Without lifting up a prayer of protest or weeping and wailing or helping Judge Roy Moore in any way, I tell you this, you don't even know me! I have allowed this test as I have told this handmaiden and her husband to fulfill this prophecy in Ezekiel 9. How few have protested and protest even now. Where are the millions around the world who should have been protecting my commandments? Only a remnant have done so. You have denied my sacred name, my Torah, and continue to live in sin, even though at one time you have accepted the shed blood of forgiveness of my son, Yeshua, because you insist on in living in the pig pens and serving Satan. You have trampled the shed blood and mercy of my son Yeshua under your feet. There is no more forgiveness knowing it is wrong and watched, listened, or partaken of these sinful abominations that I hate. I speak this warning to those who claim they are mine, not to the heathen who don't know any better. Judgment starts at the house of I, Yahweh. I rebuke those that have not prayed to the same God, Yahweh, who rained down fire and brimstone on the same sins like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. You have not prayed that I, Yahweh, take vengeance from heaven on the seed of Satan as it is done again, I, Yahweh. 
Yahweh am not blind or deaf. I Yahweh am the same creator, and my beloved son is the same Messiah. We are the same God, yesterday, today, and forever. We do not conform into man's image or man-made doctrines, nor man's idea of what sin is. I Yahweh am holy, and I demand holiness from those who claim to belong to me and my son Yeshua. I demand holiness from all those who say they are washed in the shed blood of my son Yahushua. Yahushua was given as a flawless sacrificial lamb to wash away the sins of man. And yet now these people who claim that blood now do sinful abominations, even evil behind the pulpits, proving they are not mine nor Yahushua's but are the seed of Satan. Where were the holy children in America and around the world when Judge Roy Moore was outnumbered by the heathen and the American government? He fought to keep a stone monument that he had designed and erected in honor of Yahweh, displaying the Ten Commandments. A judge is to stand for righteousness and truth. Judge Roy Moore, heaven promoted you with that title and no one can take it away from you. You are honored in heaven for what you did on August 27, 2003 in Alabama. Every tear you shed is recorded in heaven and came as a sweet fragrance to Yahweh's nostrils because of your love and loyalty to Him and Yahashua. Those who set themselves up as judge and jury over you, and the corrupt judge who took away your promotion given to you by heaven of Supreme Chief Justice of Alabama, will taste what it is like to swim in the lake of fire. All who took part will stand before Yahweh, the judge of all creation. For all the people who did pray and intercede and encouraged this man and wept with him and grieved with him, your tears are also recorded in heaven. He sacrificed everything because he refused to compromise the truth. Why did not every church around the world, especially in Alabama and the so-called Bible Belt, support this man and protest with him? I will tell you why. You feared you would be attacked also. You let your brother in Yahashua be outnumbered by the heathens. You made excuses and said, well, he did break the law and not remove the monument when he was told to do so. How dare you? You were tested and you failed the test. How many storms, droughts, heat waves, and floods will it take to wake you up and fight for what you know is holy and right? Just wait until Yahweh stomps his foot and your earth quakes in fear. Just wait until famine, pestilence, and disease cover your states, and you will pray and ask why. Holy ones, encourage him. Do not forget the price he has paid. He did what so few of you would do. And that is to stand up against the crowd and speak out against what you know is evil. Homosexuality is running rampant. Children are being brainwashed at the age of preschoolers to think homosexuality and same-sex marriage is normal. What a stench in the nostrils of Yahweh the judicial and political systems have become. The churches of Babylon embraced and encouraged their congregation not to speak out against sin or sinners. The organized churches have that which Yahweh calls an abomination, standing behind the pulpits and call themselves preachers. The few holy remnants in these churches are chased away or rejected and insulted. The pastors lie to the congregation and say, any day can be a Sabbath, and continue with the man-made Sunday. They will very soon weep for what they shall reap for teaching and doing this. Mm -hmm. 